Hello guys, my name is Shostanand, welcome back to me, playing Earthbound. In the last episode, we made our way through Ness's subconscious mind of Magicant, and defeated the darkness within ourselves. And now we're here, in Saturn Valley, where we somehow knew we had to go, because we told us another weird RPG logic. But yes, we are here in Siren Valley, so let's let's see if we, can, if we can figure out why we're supposed to be here. I see Dr. Ananas is here. Ah, the Siren are incredible folk, and the Apple Kid, he's the most exceptional young man. Very different from the other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phase disorder has been stolen! Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Siren captive, and stole the device. Really? Really? Oh, what? Wait! I was not intending to get in that. Hmm, doesn't work. One thing is missing, but that one material cannot normally be found on Earth. Two I'm thinking of came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? I have. I can synthesize the material Zexonite. I doubt your mortal enemy Gygus or whatever will allow you to get to Onet in one piece with the meteorite. By now, Onet is in his evil hands. You must go. So, so take every precaution. The Stadons have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what Onet is like at this point in time. Uh, I, I didn't actually want to go through. I want to talk to this guy. I'm not sure what will happen, but I sense big Trump time jump ahead for you. I'm going to stay here for a while and hit Mr. Saturn. It's important to man doing duty. Who are you? Why are you here? The phase disorder will certainly, certainly be completed someday, in my humble opinion. Okay. Zoom! Alright. Ah! Ah, uh, wheeze? <gasps> Breathe is so good. Okay, yeah, so apparently we have to go back to Onet. Uh, let's... That's Dr. Saturn. No thanks, we're good. Zoomer. Zoomer! We gotta find the shop. I think this this shop right here. Should be easy enough to find. I found it. Uh, no, this is, uh... Do you want slumber? K.O. I, I, I think I fully healed, but, you know, it's free, so might as well. Okay, where's the shop, though? There's a shop, right? Is it up here? What's this? I don't remember this. Sun Guts Pill. I, I don't want that. I don't want that. Protractor. That's... Yeah, I should have gotten... I was supposed to get these when I came here the first time, wasn't I? Yep. Okay, well, well, we'll sell those when we get when we find the shop. In the meantime, where's the shop? Like he said, there's like got like stuff for sale. They added, they they increased their inventory, right? Right, right, game. Yeah, this is it. This is it, right? Yeah, here we go. Hi, you come buying? You can sell too. I is Mr. Saturn. Can do all for you. Boing. Want sell? Want? Eh, there. Uh, yeah, you can have this. You can have this. It's one. <laughs> yep, that was worth it. And whatever Paula just got. Broken spray can. And you know what? Sure, let's sell this. You know what? We, we got a lot of stuff to sell and buy and stuff, so let's work this out for now. Be right back. Alright, so apparently they don't really have much to offer with that, um, new guy, with that new store stuff. They have some pendants and stuff that I don't really care for, and some piggly jelly, which is a nice 300 health healing item, which is good to have. Uh, now we gotta figure out how to get out of here. Um, gotta find a nice open place to teleport. You think we can teleport here? We got teleport beta, but we already had that, so... Can we teleport here? Let's, let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, oh, easy. Easily. Easily. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, Teleport Beta is so much better than Teleport Alpha. Like, it's crazy. Also, it's nighttime here in Onet. So, that's a bit spooky. Meteorite's up here. Holmes. Oh, God. Oh, no. What are you doing here? Ghost of Star. It's a ghost. Spooky, alright. Jeez. Uh, spy on him and let's just keep bashing him. Oh. Okay. Star. Oh! Oh! One interesting way to start. Okay. So that was interesting. Um, yeah. Definitely an interesting way to start the, uh, start this return to this return to home. Yeah, definitely definitely a scary thing, this world is. Oh, no, there's two of them. Okay. Uh, mechanical Octobot and Evil Eye. Well, that's interesting. I feel like you're weak to freeze. Let's spy on you and... Let's just... Let, I don't know. Oh! Oh, he's not gonna live long if he gets spied on, is he? Yeah, he was weak to ice, alright. Formal to fire, and... He got a meteorite! Is that what we came here for? That's not right, right? Surely we didn't just like find the item we came here for behind an enemy. Like, there's no way it'd be that easy, right? I mean, that'd be cool, but... I mean, I'm not gonna go back... I'm not gonna just go back to... I'm not just going to go back to um, Saturn Valley just to find out that this is actually what we came here for. Okay, another one. Sure. Yeah, I can do that. I can deal with this. Just another one of you guys. You don't even explode. I thought you were going to explode when I killed you, when you died, but you didn't, so... Uh, tried to steal something, but failed. Okay, well... Here's the problem. Only Jeff can steal stuff. Only Jeff. Jeff is a thief. Mom? Mom? You okay? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Ness! You finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around Onet now. The townspeople are barricading their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want some steak? Oh, Oh, and Jeff fixed the broken harmonica. The baddest beam! What?! The baddest beam?! <laughs> the baddest beam! From a harmonica. Is that, is, is that like an equip? It is. And it's worse than what I have. Well, <laughs> thanks for trying, Jeff. Thanks for trying. Alright, well let's keep on going. See if we can fight some more enemies. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Oh, God. Okay. Um. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, he's gonna have a shield. He's gonna have a shield, right? Just, just go all out, cause like, this is gonna go terribly, isn't it? Okay, so he does not have a shield, so basically I just killed him. Oh, he, he resisted that. And now he's going for Star Storm. Alright. Alright now, baby, it's alright. Oh! Oh.
well. Hey, we managed to get away. Okay, well, that's interesting. That was interesting! Mom, can you fix this? Mom, can you fix this? Actually, I know what. It's okay, because I can do this. I can just do that. And that. I said I can do that. And then I can heal her again. Alright, I'm going to have to walk her mom again, and she'll heal us all. Right? That, uh, that should be it, right? That's it. Got some steak. And... No, we're not, we're not, we did not get healed of the numbness. Whoa! Are you kidding me? I gotta use healing gamma to get rid of numbness? Wow, that's... These enemies are not playing around. Like, wow. Uh, what's his name? Dr. Anodos was not, was, was like, was right. He was right. Like, Gygus is not holding back about not wanting to let me just walk up and get what I need. No, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, we can, do, we can deal with this. We can deal with this. Probably be unnecessary with all that damage, but oh, okay. Well, I really wish Pook could use fire. It feels so weird that he can't use fire. But it also, like, 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 oh, really? Uh, it's okay. We can buy more. Like, we're we're filthy stinking rich right now. Like, we've got like. Oh, Jeff leveled up. Ooh, that's good. That's a good level up. Yeah, like we've got plenty of money in our account, so we should be fine. Um, all of a sudden the enemies are sparse. They, but they seem to spawn in twos. We're gonna freeze Gamma, you. And then no, 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 no. Bash. Fire Gamma, shoot, and freeze Gamma. That way, oh, it did about as much as the Fire Gamma, or freeze Beta. But I can still, yeah, I can still kill you. I can kill you before you, or I can kill you and then be able to attack the Octobot next turn. That's what I was trying to say, and that's what I did. Ness level 79. Pooh's level 66. Ness, you're making everyone look bad. I mean, I know you're kind of supposed to be at this point because you had that 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 internal spiritual awakening of a of a level up. But still, you're literally like. 20, you're almost like 20, okay, you're, you're 10 levels higher than the next highest. God, not again. Can I just run? I can. Alright. I really shouldn't be able to, but I'll take it. Huh. You'd think we'd be able to go in there, because like, you'd think of all the houses in town, We'd be able to go into that one because that one was like the house of that weird guy with who found the Manny Manny statue. So like, you think if the house was going to be abandoned that you could go into, that would be it. You can't steal! I can't buy that! Come on! You can at least drop items you steal. Like he clearly, ha like I know he has an item. He just took it from me. I know he has an item. I swear, if the item I get up here is a meteorite.
Meteorite piece. Ah, haha. -ha. Yeah, see, it's different. It's different. But Jeff. Yeah, the thing Jeff just got. <laughs> Calculation is tough. The thing Jeff just got was literally just uh, something to be sold. Um, let's teleport. Can we teleport beta right here? I think we got space for it. Right? Yeah, we got space, right? Right, game? Yeah. Alright, alright. Um, come and heal me. Uh, do you want slumber? Yes, I do. Do you want slumber? Yes, we do. Do you want slumber? How about you? Alright. Let's go ahead and get some more piggly jelly. And hopefully that will be... I don't like how it's so quiet in that cave. Get some more piggly jelly from this guy, the guy in the back here. Yes, I want piggly jelly. We're just going to stock up. It's just going to fill it all the way. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this thing. 2,000. Wow, that's not even that much. We're also going to sell that baddest beam because it does it's not worth the inventory space. Can't buy it. Really? Frick, now I got to Now I got to do some escargo escargo express. Yeah, that's great. Okay, thanks Tracy. Tracy. Bye. Take jelly. You. I honestly, I should probably be doing this after I fix the machine. That way, I'll have extra inventory space. Okay, well, let's let's call that good for now, and let's uh, go do the cutscene because after that, we'll probably get to be the end of the episode. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and give this to Jeff, because I know Jeff is going to need that more than you, Pooh. Alright, we still have a PSI Caramel and a Horn of Life. What does that do? I don't remember. Oh! Alright, great. So it's basically, free, it's basically a free revive. And by free revive, it means it's a revive. Alright. This time we're going to be careful not to approach the machine. Oh, alright, I forgot this right. Yes. Um, so let's see. I don't really need the monkey's love. You can take that. You can take the baddest beam. What else do I not need? Uh, pretty much everything in here I need, just in case. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna keep the hand aid just because it's there. Just because of just from a special memorial reasons, I guess. Memorial as a memento. Yeah, we can't do anything here. Yep. Take the monkey's love and the bass beam. Get him out of here. And he 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 stole the phase disorder. <laughs> oh yeah, he piece of meter right. Really, do I have to like. Why? Why I gotta do that? What? I've never seen an incredibly rare element before. It's very intriguing. All right, leave everything with us. You get some rest. Oh, we got to go sleep. At we have to go sleep in the thing again. All right. All right. Sure. We have to go sleep again. Do you want slumber? Ko. Doo 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 doo. All right. They're working through the night. Working through the night, Dr. Rando Nuts fixed the uh, broken. Uh, what's it called? Phase Disorder. Finally, it's complete! The Phase Disorder version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid, get right in! There is just one thing, though. Y you, you might not be able to return, so make sure you are optimally outfitted. Are you ready to go? No, I'm not. Because. 
that sounds a lot like it's the end of the game. Because that sounds like it's you're going into the final area, and oh boy! Whoo! That's a... That's a scary proposition. That's always a scary proposition. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be... Because like, we're going to a place where that's the only thing that can heal you, and that's the only thing that can save you, and oh yeah, you might not be able to come back. Sounds like at the end of the game, if you ask me. So, we're just gonna fully, fully stock up on Piggly Jelly. Or Piggy Jelly, not Piggly Jelly. Actually, isn't there like a reference to Piggy Jelly in Mother 3? I don't remember. I think like the, I think you might like be able to get Piggy Jelly in uh, New Pork City, and like it's like a Porky reference because the guy's name is Porky in Mother 3 and not Pokey. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, so. With this, it's basically the end of the game. It's the end of the game as we know it. So yeah, I'll just get three, two more piggy jellies. Piggy jelly. I don't even. Like, I don't even know if piggy jelly is even gonna work with poo. But. Oh. There you go. All right. Yep, that's it. That's it. So yeah, that'll be for this episode, and in the next one, we will go into the phase disorder and find out what it is we must do to defeat Gygus. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.